Hi everyone and welcome to another episode of Sweet Dash Tips and Tricks. This is Mike and today I want to cover the subject of SMTP in the platform. So there are two places in the platform where you can set up SMTP and they are a little bit different so let's talk about those differences so it becomes clear. So if you are setting up email branding, and we'll go here and go to email branding, you'll be presented with two options. One is to authenticate your domain. And this would be in the case that you have an email associated with your domain, something like info at your business.com. And if you click authenticate my domain, you'll be prompted to provide your domain name. And then afterwards, you'll be provided with two DNS records that you'll need to set in your DNS. And this basically gives us permission to send email notifications on your behalf and make sure that they end up in the inbox and not the spam box. In the case that you don't want to use this and you want to use SMTP to send email directly out through your email address, then you can set up SMTP here. Now it's important to understand that this is not SMTP that you would set up through SendGrid or Mailgun or Amazon SES. For this SMTP, for your email sending, the notifications from the platform, we need to set up through your actual email account so that all the notifications from the platform are sent out through the outpipe of your email address. And the reason for this is when notifications are received by your prospects or clients, they're able to reply and you see those emails coming back to you in your own email inbox. So in this area, you can't set up using SendGrid. You can't set up using Amazon SES. That's not correct. You'll need to Google SMTP settings for Office 365 or Gmail or whatever you have that's powering your email, Zoho, GoDaddy, whatever it is. Those are the credentials that belong here. And that's easy to find as every email provider on the planet provides SMTP settings. One note here, if you have Gmail or G Suite, Google is enforcing some extra security precautions for SMTP, and you should read about this in our documentation or search on the web for extra steps that you may have to take to get your Gmail or G Suite email address validated via SMTP. Okay, now let's look at the other place where SMTP can be used in the platform. If you go to marketing here, and this is our email marketing toolkit, if you click settings, you're given the option here to send your email marketing campaigns via SMTP. Now this is the place where you would want to use something like SendGrid or Mailgun or MailJet or all the other options that are out there for you, Amazon SES. Because this is for marketing, it means we want to send lots and lots of emails and it's not so critical if they reply to those emails whether you get them or not. In contrast, the email sending from here, the email branding where we send notification emails for things like new invoices or new tasks or things that are really important for your clients to get and if they reply to it, it's really important that you get that and you take action on that. Here in email marketing, this is more of a send one way email marketing blast that if you send this out, it's not so critical that it comes back. In addition, you're likely to be doing this in larger numbers and that's where something like SendGrid or Amazon SES would come in. And for this, you actually can use a username and password and you're setting up here with those SMTP credentials for marketing. So to complete the thought, this is for marketing, SMTP, mass, sending, email, lots, not so important if you get a reply. For your email notifications, which you have here, this is very important that you land in the inbox because these are critical email notifications for these important things throughout the platform. You want to make sure this goes out through a very valid email outbox, which is either this SMTP or if you authenticate your domain, we send on your behalf, but we are authenticated because you're gonna use those DNS records and these emails will also land in the inbox with the email address that you provide so that if they reply, yes, you will get that uh, in the inbox of the email address that you supply. One other question you might have is, can you use this SMTP that you're using for email notification sending 
Can you also use that in the marketing area? And the answer is yes. So if you're using, say, for example, Gmail here to send out through your Gmail or G Suite, that's fine. You can also use that here in marketing. However, you need to understand there will be a limitation enforced by Google on how many you can send through this method every day. I think it's 500 and possibly for G Suite it's 800. So if you're just using this marketing area to send drip campaigns, then likely if you're a smaller business with just a smaller number of clients, you won't have any problems going out and using your Gmail or G Suite and that won't cost you anything. If you are sending in mass, you'll need to probably invest in a little monthly payment for an SMTP sender like SendGrid or Mailgun or something like that so that you can send in volume through this method. So I think that covers it pretty well. Thanks for watching and don't forget to click that subscribe button, the little bell. That lets you know every time something like this is posted so you'll be right up to date with all the new releases and features and tips and tricks. All right, thanks everyone. We'll see you in the next one.